is a Spotlight TV, and I am Christian Lestap, you say. For the people at home, who are we here with today? Paul Gorman, director of Virgin Pockets. Marie Madison, one of the stars in Virgin Pockets. Now, we're at the Great Lakes Film Fest, is that correct? Yes, Great Lakes Film Fest 2007, opening night. Now, uh, how many movies have you guys made? Marie's made more than me. This is my <laughs> second feature. You did like three this year. Three. Hold on. Yeah, I did three movies. Now, what's the seven. lineup of actors in your film? The main cast is Marie, Jeremy Krukowski, and Chexie Grace, and then we probably got like another ten yeah. people in the movie. So now, what's the film uh, about? The film basically is about a professional pool player played by Marie who hooks up with like a younger hustler who's played by Chexy Grace and the two become friends they start hustling pool all over town until they get noticed by a corporate sponsorship and the, the sponsor sort of screws up their relationship. Now did you have a trainer in playing pool for the movie? Yeah I had a trainer for three months I had Bob Braun he was great he broke the shots down for me he showed me how to make them almost every time and I worked also worked with Al Williams, a local pool player, and he showed me how to break down a lot of the shots to make them 95% of the time. Do they do that for, as a profession, like for movies? Yeah, well, not for movies, but they're both prof they play for a living. Both of them play for a living. Now, is this on DVD yet? It's not yet. Probably October, November. Now, about Fury, where could people buy the DVD Fury at? It's scheduled to come out this Halloween um, through SRS Cinema. Now, do you have any information you want to talk about that? About Fury? Yeah, like who acted in it? Like, um, Fury starred Marie, also. <laughs> she was the main character. James Xavier was also in that, and uh, Steve Merrill and myself directed it. Now, like, has there been like any like like difference in technology or in the two movies? Because there's a lot of filmmakers that like you know change it up a little bit. We used different cameras. We used the we used the the DVX 100 on this one. We shot with a. Sony something or other on the last one. Now with editing equipment, what do you use to like uh, edit your film? I use Final Cut Pro. Really? To edit with you. Now what do you suggest for, for the, you know young filmmakers out there to like get out there and you know? I think. Their, um, you know, what do they do? My basically? suggestion is to just pick up a camera and start Shoot. shooting. Um, you can get a camera for two, three hundred bucks. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a film camera. It doesn't have to be high def. It doesn't have to be you know, an expensive camera, just pick up any camcorder and start shooting. Um, editing software's cheap, cameras are cheap, just start, just get started. Your first film's gonna suck anyway, so just, <laughs> just make it and get it out of the way. Now, how do you and, feel about like live video on YouTube? How do I feel about live video? Yeah. I think that video in general over the internet is where entertainment's gonna go. So you like the whole YouTube uh, genre? Yeah, I love like... it. I love digital distribution, the fact that we can make a movie and deliver it directly to our fans without going through a distributor or a store or waiting 90 days to get paid. It's instantaneous. We can communicate with people and they can communicate with us. We get emails, video messages. Yes, yes. You get like 500 a day. <laughs> um, telling us what they like, what they don't like. Um, you know, they think our movie's shit or they like it or whatever. It gives us instant feedback that we can turn around and, you know, use to make ourselves better filmmakers. Now, how do people get involved in the Marie Madison fan club? Yeah. I heard there's a fan club on the internet. There's a huge one. <laughs> now, how, how, do, how, do they get, how do they get on that uh, list? Or? I have um, friends of Marie on Yahoo.com. It's one of the bigger yeah. ones that you can go to. You can just join from your site. You can join right from www.mariemadison.com. Just click on join my Yahoo group. Now, both of your MySpace is what is it? Like, do you want to give out the MySpace? Oh, it's uh, to get with GMD Films. It's MySpace.com slash GMD Films. Um, for Marie Madison, it's slash Marie Madison. Now, for anyone who wants to be in a GMT film, like, how do they get involved? Um, there's a lot of ways, really. We put up all of our casting calls on our on our MySpace, also our websites. If you like, become friends with us on MySpace. Just look at our bulletins, watch our blogs. We always put stuff up as far in advance as we can, and then just come out. Everybody's welcome to be part of our films. And uh, basically, uh, is there any other projects you want to talk about that's coming up in film-wise? Any other uh, showings? Um, we don't have any other showings scheduled for Virgin Pockets. We're hoping to get a few before it goes out on DVD. We're looking at a couple of like small theaters um, we hope to get into. Um, we're going to finish House of Bedlam. I'm going to finish House of Bedlam when this is over. It's going to be my next project. And then, uh, I'm not sure after that. Any movie playing at the Horror Fest? 
Uh, nothing playing at the Horror Fest. I'll be representing Chasing Darkness, which was Jason Hall's film, so I'll be there. Yeah, uh, uh, Shan Solo is in that. Yeah. I, yeah, he talked about that on uh, the last Spotlight one from the uh, Rock Erie Awards. Cool. He's in Virgin Pockets too, right? Yeah, he is. And who does he play? He plays the corporate sponsor, the yeah. our sort of bad guy in the film. He comes in and screws up uh, Marie and Chexie's relationship. Because <laughs> he's a bastard. <laughs> yeah, he is too. So, Marie, what's your one of your favorite scenes in the movie Virgin Pockets? One of my favorite scenes. Um, oh my god, I like the the scene that we have affectionately called the two idiots. I like that. Um, the two characters go in and um, they're for one thing they're dressed exactly alike, so you think any rec not any smart person would figure out that these two are together, but these two don't. So, you know, we kind of hustle them out of their money. Now, one last question. For the people of Erie, how important do you think the Great Lakes Film Fest is to them? It's huge. It's huge because it's the only place in town that you can see movies that you'll probably never see again. Um, there's movies that will probably never hit theaters in Erie because we have such a small community. And a lot of these films don't even come out on DVD for a year after the festival. So for almost nothing, the ticket prices are so cheap here. You can come see movies you've never seen before. Big stars like Kevin Costner has a movie that's showing um, this year. Um, big stars, big movies, huge productions, and a lot of uh, small film shorts. You can see it all for 10 bucks, and it's right here in town, and it, it's a great thing for the community. Plus, you get a taste of a lot of the uh, locations of Erie, because a lot of filmmakers use so many. A lot of films shot in town, yeah. more than people even know about. And there's a lot of independent um, musicians that are used in the film, so they get recognized as well. So it's good for everybody. Yeah, one really cool thing about Erie Film is that it seems like all the filmmakers um, sort of make that a focus to shoot in Erie and use Erie artists. So we did that in Virgin Pockets. I know Len Kabazinski did that with his Fist of the Vampire. Um, Jason Hall did it with Chasing Darkness. It, it's sort of, I don't want to say like unspoken, but we're all from Erie, it's all our hometowns, and we live here and we work here and we're friends with these bands and it seems like a really big community effort that we all sort of help each other with the films, all the bands are more than willing to donate their tunes for the soundtracks, and it becomes a big group effort, which is very cool, and I, I've never seen a film scene like that. Alright, well anyway, this has been Christian Molestapi, sir, signing out for Spotlight. You want to say goodbye to everybody at home? See ya. See ya.